the poster of the Fire Force study that was um, investigating 673 patients in first-line metastatic colorectal cancer bearing a RAS wild-type tumor. Um, investigating really an induction treatment of four furious ataximab and then a maintenance, a switch maintenance to 5-FU bevacizumab versus ongoing four furious ataximab until toxicity or um, progressive disease. And here we already had presented the data a year ago, but here we are presenting data on the patient population where we do not have the RAS mutational status at the beginning of the trial. So Per protocol, we allowed one cycle of chemotherapy for FURY before entering the trial. And in the end, around about one third of the patients, more than 200 of those 673 patients, actually had one cycle of chemo before randomization, so before adding cetuximab. Reasons for this is RAS mutation analysis costs time. During this period, some patients are really getting nervous. They want to start treatment. So this is really also kind of real world data showing us, does this make a difference if you have one cycle without cetuximab um, versus those patients that actually had four furious cetuximab from the beginning? And from 200 patients versus 400 patients, there were no difference when it comes to efficacy. The PFS were all the same at, at a level of around about 11 months. Um, overall survival also in both arms were at around more than 30 months. So there's no influence. So if you don't have the RAS mutation analysis by hand, just start with a cycle of chemotherapy and then you can add safely cetuximab or bevacizumab, whatever the RAS mutation outcome, uh, analysis outcome is, you can add it at cycle two or three and you will basically come up with the same results.